Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. Today is officially day one. So as a part of this challenge, I wanted to do a little bit of a fast track for newer agents to uh, get into the production game, if you will, by creating leads through Facebook and kind of getting onto that track as fast as possible. So our first seven days, we're going to talk about the ability to uh, create designs, create a campaign, create a landing page, create a smart plan, how to implement all of those pieces so that within one week, you guys are already generating leads from your Facebook ad. And so for me, that all starts in designs. So we want to create um, sharp looking marketing pieces to advertise our listings or the listings of those agents that we're borrowing from. And so designs is down here on the left hand side. It is your 10th icon down. We're going to go ahead and click on designs. That's going to take us into the design template screen where you have all of your previously created designs. If you don't have anything here, don't worry about it. We're going to go ahead and create a brand new one by clicking on the plus sign here at the bottom right hand corner. This is going to be a social design and we're going to walk through many of the other features involved in designs. But today we're just going to focus on creating a social design for the Facebook ad that we're going to run later this week. And I clicked on social and then next and it's going to go ahead and open up all the templates that are then available. So you can see all of the templates here on the left hand side that are available that we could then choose from. In this case, we're going to choose a just listed right for a listing just listed. You can also see across the top based upon the social media channel that you want to run your design on. You can see that they are sized differently and appropriately for that channel. So this is going to be Facebook that we're going to run this on. So we're going to choose Facebook. Um, I'm a fan of this new one here. So let's use uh, this one by just clicking on the red use button. You can do the same thing with any one of these designs. So do choose. And we're going to get into the design editor, which is brought to us from WeBrand. And so um, we're going to go into more detail about this design editor in the future. But right now, it's really just a matter of creating design assets that we can use for this Facebook ad. So what I've done is I've actually gone into my MLS. I have found a new listing that just came on the market. It's not my listing, but I have permission from the agent to do some marketing around it. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I had that. When I'm running Facebook ads, there's a couple things that I don't want to do. I don't want to provide the address and I don't want to provide the price. That's personal preference. I want them to click on my ad. And if they can find the address and just go look it up on some other MLS site, well then, you know, what's the point of doing that? So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to change this address. We're going to change this information down here. But the first thing we want to do is get the information from the listing. So I can click on KWLS and then go in and actually search for the listing address. And this is a new listing from the Lippincott team, an amazing home, uh, just went on the market yesterday. And here it is at 17322 Morgan's Lake Drive. So I'm gonna select that listing and you can see it immediately starts bringing in all of the photos of the listing in addition to the listing details that I can see here. So I'm gonna come down. The first thing I wanna do is change the listing detail at the bottom. So this is a four bedroom house and I'm going to click on this text box and I'm actually going to come up here to what we call the typewriter looks like kind of a half eaten Hershey bar and I'm going to change the information there so that way the formatting stays exactly the same it still looks sharp I'm not having to do a lot of big changes there um, square footage I actually didn't write that down let's see if I can find that square footage real quick uh, 3760 there we go so I can pull that information straight out of the MLS and that's going to be listed at, uh, we're actually we're going to take out the list price because we don't want people to know what it's listed for we want them to click on the ad to figure that out and it was built in let's see it should have that information on here and if not then I'll have to jump into the listing oh there it is 2010 built in 2010 so once I've changed that information and updated it I can just click on save changes so you can now see I've got the bar down here at the bottom I want to bring in the photos, right? So I don't want to use that photo because that's not a photo of the listing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this photo. I'm going to hover over the photo that I want to use to replace it with. And I'm going to click on this circular image, which is the replace image button. And just like that, I have replaced the image with, right? Here's the new listing photo that we're going to go with. And I'm going to come in and change the address. And I'm going to click on typewriter. And I'm going to put sparkling pool spa and covered patio, right? So I'm just kind of describing what that photo is. 
And then the last thing that I need to do is I want to change out the DBA. No one works at Keller Williams DBA name, right? And so I'm going to teach you in a future challenge how to bring in your logos into the library. But for right now, you could come in and just click on um, add an image as well and then go find where you have your DBA logo saved on your hard drive. For me, it's easy because I already have it saved in my library. So I'm gonna click on this DBA name and I'm just double click there. I'm gonna click on logos. I'm gonna hover over the one that I want to change it out with and click on the replace logo button. And I'm just gonna drag that up, make sure it's appropriately sized and placed. There we go. And now I am done. I have just created a professional looking marketing piece for the ad that we're going to run later in the week. So I wanna come in and I wanna change this. So I'm gonna change the title to 17322 Morgan's Lake. And I'm gonna put pool. And then I'm going to click on the down arrow to download that. And I wanna use it as a JPEG. I always wanna have the highest quality image. And I'm gonna start download. That's then gonna download this image to my hard drive so that I have that easily ready to go. Now, here's the thing, with Facebook ads, we can run up to five different photos and Facebook will kind of semi-test each one of those and then run with the one that is doing the best. So, in order to do that, let's create five of these graphics and we'll save those for use in the future. So what do I wanna do now? I wanna come back in, I wanna go back to KWLS's images and let's find a picture of the kitchen. Here's a really nice one of the kitchen. So we're gonna change that out. And then we're just gonna click here. We're gonna change the typewriter to granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, pendant lighting. Let's see if that fits all in one line. And as long as it does, all right, that still looks okay. Let's move it up just a little bit there. All right, and now nothing else changes on here because it's exactly the same ad basically, right? Let's move that up just a touch more. All right, and then touch down. All right. And I can also come in, if I think that's a little too big, I can come in and I can change the font size here. I can also move it out if I wanted to do that and drag these little vertical bars left and right get it all in one line and then I can put it back down. Let's go that route, I like that better. So I'm gonna change the name of the file one more time because this is no longer pool, this is kitchen. And then everything else remains the same. I'm gonna go ahead and download that version. And now I have my second image, just that quick and that easy. Let's go ahead and change out the kitchen for the uh, great room. So there we go. And now let's change that description and this one's gonna say wood floors, stone fireplace, wood beams. Let's save those changes, there we go. Let's change the name of the file and you can kind of see what we're doing here. So great room and we're gonna download that one real quick. Now I've got three images that quickly. Now I wanna go through, let's get, um, let's see what else could we spawn, focus on let's do the master bedroom here we go and so we'll replace the master and then i can come in and say typewriter new carpet neutral paint plantation shutters save those changes we're going to call this one master bad bedroom that quick and easy download the fourth one and you'll see why this is gonna make sense when we run our ad, because we're actually gonna bring in all five of these images when we go to actually run in the ad. And then the algorithm is going to decide which one's gonna run best. So finally, look at that, what an amazing dining room. So let's click on that, let's describe this. Stone wall, butler's pantry, and we'll just do plantation shutters again. And save changes. Perfect, and now we're gonna save that last one as dining room. All right, and we'll download it. So that quickly and that easily, we've just created, you can see down here at the bottom, five images that we're gonna use later on when we run our Facebook ad, and we're actually gonna bring these images in. We can actually bring them in both from command and our hard drive, so that's why I was both downloading and then changing the template name. So when I click on done, it's gonna take me back into my design templates 
and you can see, right, each time that I changed the name, it was still that original template. So I went ahead and downloaded the copies. The other option that I could have done was come back into Design Templates. I could have clicked on the three dots and made a copy. And then once that copy was made, I could have come in here, changed out this image, and saved this one as, you know, the kitchen and so on and so forth. So either way you want to do it, I just found that that download, change, download, change just makes it a little quicker for me. But that's it for today, guys. A quick and uh, simple way to come in to designs, create a quick and easy just listed design template for use on Facebook, and then make five different variations of it so that we can use it when we run our Facebook ad later. As always, guys, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. I look forward to continuing on with this challenge, and I thank you for joining us. Talk to you soon.